Hi everyone. We are going to find the HTTP conditional get slash response interaction. First most web browsers perform object caching and thus perform a conditional get when retrieving an HTTP objects. Before performing the steps below, make sure your browser's cache is empty. To do this under Firefox, select Tools-Clear Recent History and check the cache box. Or for Internet Explorer, select Tools-Internet Options-Delete File. These actions will remove cached files from your browser's cache. Now do the following. Start up your web browser, and make sure your browser's cache is cleared, as discussed above. In this example I am using Microsoft Edge. Now start up the Wireshark packet sniffer. In this example I am using Wi-Fi and I am going to click Wi-Fi. If you are using Ethernet, you can simply click it. If you don't know what is you are using, you can see the graph. Enter the following URL into your browser. You can use any website to see what is happening. Your browser should display a very simple 5-line HTML file. Quickly enter the same URL into your browser again, or simply select the refresh button on your browser. Stop Wireshark packet capture and enter HTTP in the display filter specification window, so that only captured HTTP messages will be displayed later in the packet listing window. Now we are going to find 1. Inspect the contents of the first HTTP GET request from your browser to the server. Do you see an IF modified SINCE line in the HTTP GET? No there is no if modified since line in the get message. 2. Inspect the contents of the server response. 
Did the server explicitly return the contents of the file? How can you tell? The server did explicitly return the contents of the file. Wireshark includes a section titled, Line-Based Text Data, which shows what the server sent back to my browser which is specifically what the website showed when I brought it up on my browser. Now inspect the contents of the second HTTP GET request from your browser to the server. Do you see an if modified since line in the HTTP GET? If so, what information follows the if modified since header? Yes. In the second HTTP message an if modified since line is included. The information that follows is the date and time that I last accessed the web page. What is the HTTP status code and phrase returned from the server in response to this second HTTP get? Did the server explicitly return the contents of the file? The HTTP status code is, 304, not modified. The server did not return the contents of the file because the browser simply retrieved the contents from its cache. Had the file been modified since it was last accessed, it would have returned the contents of the file, instead it simply told my browser to retrieve the old file from its cached memory. Thank you for watching.